Hey guys, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys my top 5 effects to use in your AMVs, edits, gaming edits, Genshin edits, uh, for example, um, without any plugins. So you don't need like BCC or Sapphire to use these effects. And think, frankly, I want to make one of these videos because I feel like I see a lot of them and it, they are pretty helpful. So. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is make sure you have your adjustment layer and it could be to the duration of your clip. It could be one frame. It could be however you'd like it to be. And yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I have my clipper here, uh, flow framed if you, if you uh, notice. Uh, I will be using uh, fine edges to start. And this is my, t this is my, my the fifth of the top of five. Uh, uh, effects I like to use it is just probably the most simple one honestly you look it up it's an RGB edges effect um, this is similar to um, S, uh, S, S edge colorize S edge detect um, those are uh, those um, effects and this is just a free alternative but as you can see it works pretty well um, so what I like to do is I'll add like a uh, glow or something I'll add like two glows maybe and I'll just make the radius of this a little bit higher and then something like that would work and I was like if I played it back it looks like that it looks pretty cool and if you want to match it to the aesthetic of your clip and footage you can add a tritone and you can mute the, you can uh, turn this off hide this grab the midtones of the color you want it to, to feature so in this case there's a lot of orange green I will use this bright orange and it'll look something like that and it looks pretty cool maybe turn down the intensity so we'll make it like 25 percent blended with the original um something like that and or if you'd like to instead of not using this you can just turn on the intensity of your midtone so in this case i'll do something like that and as you can see it looks it looks really cool it's really cool in my opinion that's the fifth effect that that's the fifth effect of the top five okay now we're at number four let's use the next effect it is called Minimax. I'm sure you guys have seen these in glitch styles or like hype edits and stuff like that. Because I'm pretty sure it's most common in those ones where they try to blur out the color. So as you can see, the radius it it adds it adds block. It's like a, it's like a blocky blur effect with the color. It's interesting. So what it uses is it uses directional values, which is horizontal or vertical, and it acts as a way of maximizing the blur of the color or the blur radius of the color and or the minimum blur radius of the color. So something like that. Uh, minimum would look like this. We would get the min minimal colors and they would uh, that would be applied to the, to the radius and the maximum would be applied to the radius uh, if we put it the maximum. What else you can do with this? You can change the color channel. So you can do alpha color, you can do red, you can, as you can see, it gets the red parts, it gets the green parts, and then I'll get the, the many, the blue parts that there are, and alpha, this turns it off the alpha, looks pretty cool. Um, I like to use this, for example, I like to use this for uh, uh, transitions. I like to put this to something like 25, and then I'll go down here and I'll change it to something like zero. Or zero or one or then one is one one here and a zero there it really doesn't matter and then you just press f9 open up the graph editor you could use screen graph if you play um and uh yeah as you can see it looks pretty cool nice little effect that gets you going uh and that's the fourth effect okay number three is a pretty common one that i love to use and it's used in many different styles and many different uh um individual styles that people make it is the fairy friendly waveform now i will show you uh all the types here there are sine right that makes a sine wave it makes a square wave triangle sawtooth circle semicircle unicircle noise and some noise but what i will be showing you guys today is smooth noise to sawtooth so i'll put this to something like 50 or 60 depending on how i feel and then i'll put this to all edges and change the direction of this to uh zero degrees and then i'll add it again wave warp and i will put another one for sawtooth and i'll put the height to 20 and the width of 40 and so yes since you have 60 height with 40 for smooth noise 20 and 40 for sawtooth and you will change this to zero for the saw for the um sawtooth 
and you'll press all edges and then you should have something that looks like this as you can see it looks pretty cool it looks like a looks like a looks like a nice smooth effect that you could use for like um uh, if you're going for like a vhs style or if you're going for like a, a crt style if you can manage it and if you want to for both of these uh since i have i'm using multiple uh i'm using a longer um layer you can change the wave speed i'll put this to 0.3 and then this to point two. as you can see it looks something like that and that looks really cool if you just keep like a one framer for example so if i made this just a one framer and or two framer and then like something like that would be cool and then maybe you could add some invert or you know, something like, add like an invert and then you can change the channel and make this hls or something something like that would look cool too so that's another thing that could be uh useful in your edits without any plugins required um so that's number three number two is an effect i don't really see very often but it would be a very 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 good alternative to s on s it's s scan lines by sapphire so we're going to type in venetian blinds so now you're going to change the transition completion to something like 30 to 50 depending on your preference and you're going to change the direction to whatever you feel and uh we'll put 90 for this one and i'm going to change the width to seven and as you can see it is the exact replica of an S scan lines. So for example, I'm not gonna use S scan lines um, in this tutorial as um, as like um, to add it into the list, but I'm gonna use it uh, just for the, for the example of comparison. I will add it right here. And if you put it to something like 100 and you compared it to something like Venetian lines, for example, it looks like that and S scan lines look like that. Looks very, very similar. It doesn't it doesn't it look exactly the same because I think you can change the color, the color shift with scan lines compared to Venetian, where you can only really change the direction, the feathering. But it's still a pretty cool alternative that might be useful in your edits. So that's number two. Okay, so the last thing on our list is uh, one of my favorite distortion effects of all time. Um, we are using turbulent displace. Uh, so my settings go as this. Turbulent is um, the standard displacement I usually use. I don't mess with these other ones. I haven't tried yet, but I will uh, maybe try bolts actually. Try bolts. No, uh, no, no, let's just use turbulent for this case. Um, and then try 10 for the size. And then, uh, well, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, complexity, uh, 1.4 and then uh evolution options to keep them all the same uh keyframe the amount and we're gonna make a small transition to demonstrate what it looks like it's a transition um we're gonna put this to zero we're gonna keyframe uh, key frame this press f9 over the graph editor and we are going to make a graph something like this uh like we did before with the minimax so as you can see it looks pretty cool it looks like a pretty cool effect and if you wanted to for uh, masking, you could add this in the back and I'll show you guys an example in just a bit. Okay, I'm back and as you guys can see, I made a mask here. It's not the best example, but it's one to give you guys a basic idea of what I'm talking about. Um, so what you would do is, for example, you would add space to your back layer and then you would change the settings as advised, uh, turn of space about 200, um, size 12, and change the evolution uh, to something from zero to maybe 180 degrees. I think 180 usually works in my case. As you can see, it, it, moves, it can move like that. It looks really cool. Um, and then you, if you want to, you can graph it a little bit and you can make a graph something like this. Um, you can don't have to, it doesn't have to be too sh too sharp. It doesn't have to be too sharp. My voice cracked. Um, and then you can do something like that, which may fit the aesthetic of your scene. Um, my case, it, I want it to be a little bit fast. So, and then it slow down when the part zooms up. So that would work perfect for me. And if you can, if you want to, you can add a little bit of glow. I think glow would be a very advisable choice. Um, so you keep that default. Make this something like 60, um, 1.3, and then add another glow again, and then make this somewhere around 150 for the radius. 
and then a glow intensity could be like something like two, or it can just be like 0.4 or something, just to give that a nice touch. And as you can see, it looks really, really cool with um, Turbulent Displace as the next um, uh, effect on my list, and that will be the final one. And as you can tell, I added glow in as well. We couldn't forget glow, did we? We, we couldn't have forgotten glow. Um, but yeah, that is basically it for this tutorial. And if you want to see stuff like this more, where I talk about stuff without plugins or without a lot of uh, necessities, then please feel free in the comments to say, hey, uh, I'd like to see more of that. And without further ado, uh, let me end off this um tutorial uh, video thing by saying thank you guys so much for 300 uh, subscribers and to continue uh supporting me and for your continued support if you guys would like uh to see more content like this and please do hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye now